So there's one more time operation that we want to look at before we get into combined operations. This is time shifting of a signal. So if we have a signal x of t and we want to create a time shifted version of it, we replace t, the time variable, with t minus capital T. This is what we call the time shift. That's how much we are shifting the signal in time. And depending on the value of t, the original signal is either shifted to the left or shifted to the right. It's shifted to the right any time that capital T is greater than zero. So as an example, if capital T was five, you would see T minus five here, and that would mean shift to the right by five units. And if T, capital T, is negative, say if capital T was a negative seven, then you would have little t minus a negative seven. Negative, negative is positive, so you would see a little t plus seven here. And that would be a shift to the left of seven units. So when you look here, the sign that you see is a little backwards, right? When you see a positive sign, you end up going left. When you see a negative sign, you end up going right. That might be a little kind of you know, not intuitive, but that's how it works. And we'll do some examples here and show exactly why that's the case. We'll kind of work through it very slowly like we did in the previous videos. So for both these little examples we're going to work, let's say that x of t is this rectangular pulse signal. So it is off everywhere. And then for time one through four, it is a rectangular pulse that is on. So it has a value of one there. And we're gonna go do two different examples here. In the first example, we're gonna let y of t equal x of t plus three. So right there from the previous chart, we know that in this case, that this should be a shift to the left of three units. Well, let's make sure that actually happens like we think. And let's do that kind of slowly by working through kind of the original time, what time plus three is, and then querying the function x of t plus three. So let's go ahead and pick some time. So when t is z negative three, and negative three plus three is zero, so that column has a zero, and now I need to query my x function at time zero. Well, if I look over here at time zero, my function is off, so it has a value of zero. What about time minus two? Well, if I add three to that, I get one, and here at one, my signal is on, so I have a value of one for x of t plus three. Time negative one, if I add three to that, I get two. My signal at x of t plus three is x of two, which is a value of one. I keep going. At time zero, it's three. I'm still on because I'm right here. At time one, one plus three is four. That signal is still on right there, so it's a value of one. Now when I get to two, two plus three is five x of five is zero so i'm back to being quote off so now i have all the times of interest because i've kind of captured all values of the pulse that are on and now i can plot this time vector versus these values right here because this last column x of t plus three is equal to y that's what y is equal to right so let's go ahead and plot those values at negative two it's one at one it's one it's, it's on for all those values and it's zero everywhere outside of that so that is what my time shifted signal y of t looks like and as you can see it has indeed shifted three units to the left it used to kind of turn on at first at one now it turns on initially at negative two one minus three is a negative two so it's shifted to the left shift of three to the left all right, let's do another example, and let's go the other way. Let's let y of t equal x of t minus 2. And we can do the exact same thing. We'll go through this just a little faster, though, because we've done this already. So I'm going to let my initial time vector equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This column here will be all those values just subtracted by 2. So 1 minus 2 is a negative 1, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then query these values, the signal up here. So x of negative 1 is off, so it's 0. x of 0 is still off. And then it's on, 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 all the way down to 0. And now if we plot this time vector versus this column, again, this last column, x of t minus 2 is equal to y. So that's the signal we're trying to plot. We can get this signal right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then it's off, off, then on. 
and it's on between 3 and 6, so that's where it's on. I draw that, and this is what I get from my final rectangular pulse. Again, initially, x of t was on from 1 to 4. After performing this time shift operation, it's now on from 3 to 6. It has shifted two units to the right, just like we thought it should have based on the previous chart. So there's some uh, simple examples of time shifting. Algebraically, it's also very simple. All you do is replace all instances of t with t minus capital T. So algebraically, it's very simple. What we want to do next is get into combined operations. So in the next video, we'll start kind of stacking these up. We'll do combined time shifting, reversal, scaling, do some combined operations to see how that works.